chef we know that we cook. Actually, we now watch never cook something. We pack oil, yeah. we fish, put the food. No, no, you know this, like, like you know this dress now. <laughs> you know this is that you now write chef on your, uh, 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 say, uh, now, at home, cooking. Cipreno. I'd say you know, you go to my house, cook, cook, next uh, thing, you first chop you for the chop. Uh, uh, you come like, oh, I need you again. <laughs> <laughs>the shaming, slut shaming, and defaming somebody is your tactics or you say a way you want to use and advance your game. It speaks volume of you as a person, your personality, and whatever it is that you stand for. Guys, we've all seen the conversation going on between this housemate and the house. We've all seen everything that's going on. And it has raised a couple of conversation between people. People have made videos about it. People have talking about it on Twitter. And I'm here to just air my own opinion about it because everybody is entitled to their own opinion. You might not agree with me, but it is my opinion. You have your own opinion. So if I drop my opinion, you are not familiar with it or you are not uh, agreeing with what I share, drop yours down below in the comment section. I will come to today's video. My name is Shooks and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. So during the course of this week this has made there has been a sign of buzz buzz around trying to happen but it's a ticking time bomb the bomb hasn't uh getting to their last 10 seconds yet but it is ticking and i'm talking about ruti i'm talking about uh nelly i'm talking about shinwe of the shin uh, of the zingwe pair and also there is this kind of i don't know if it's a jealousy at play between the Indian Nepe or I, I just don't know what it is. But you, you are like, okay, I say, hey, so, hey, so, root, you are young, oh, yeah, hey, you, I know that, yes, it's in your spirit, it's, you want the thing to go, but it's not done like that. They don't do it like, because me, I will not come now and say, it's not, it's not so that me, I don't know how to do it. Me, I can come now and push you aside and manage my things. Let me just ask you guys, what do you feel like, or how were you feeling while watching that whole conversation? between Nne and her aunt where her aunt was making reference of Nne's first class certificate like it doesn't make any sense there's nothing there's nothing that has happened in that house that would make you jealous of your own knees of your own knees that you have to bring out her certificate like this girl went to school this girl might have denied herself fun denied herself all the activities that will make life good in school just to focus and study and at the end of the day she comes out with a first class she bags a first class degree now she's in the big brother house with you and people are like okay listen to her okay she has ideas that will make them win their wages she has ideas people are seeing her as a leader she's portraying the features of a good leader and now you as an aunt that should be happy that, oh, my niece is shining in, on a stage like Big Brother. Oh, this housemaid are, 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 are recognizing my niece's talent as a leader. But no, you thought that she's, telling, that she's telling away your shine. You thought in your mind that, oh, if she's always the one that all the housemates are calling, that I won't have the time to shine. This is a partnership. There is no Nne without Ndinde. So there is no Nne without Shinde. So... Whatever the auntie might be feeling, me be it jealousy, be it I don't I don't care what she's feeling, but it is totally wrong. Very, very, very wrong. You can't be feeling like that when your niece is the one portraying a leadership role that people are happy with. You can't go and sabotage her or use emotional blackmail to make her feel bad. It is totally disgusting while I was watching that. I'm moving on to the whole gang up that I talked about, guys. I've noticed that throughout the seasons of Big Brother, if you watch back, you always notice that there's always this plot that's always going on in the Big Brother house. It's either there's a self-proclaimed antagonist or housemate gang up and decide who the antagonist will be. There will always be a protagonist. And that person that acts the role of a protagonist is either ganged up by all the housemates and baited on. So, why am I saying this? We've all seen what has been going on throughout this week. How this housemaid, especially Ruti, uh, Shinwe, and some of their cliques have been ganging up and talking down on Neri. Have been defaming Neri. Have been saying all sorts of disgusting words about Neri. And I'm, look, 
watching this show and I'm like, yes, you have to use whatever ammunition you have in your arsenal to advance yourself in the game. But defaming somebody, calling somebody a pussy preneur, having a discussion about someone's livelihood, the way she makes her living, defaming her saying that she's not a, a, a chef as she proclaimed to be, bashing her style of cooking, that she cooks with, uh, with a lot of onions and uh, oil, that she's not a chef, that she, that, guys, guys, the, the disgusting words that she were used to portray Nelly. I'm like, what is actually going on? What is actually, like, I don't understand how you, as a woman, there is always the same woman supporting women in the mud. Because why would you, as a woman, slut shame, body shame, defame your fellow woman who did nothing wrong to you, or in the name of a competition? It doesn't sit well with me because I'm an, I don't know if to say I'm an activist, but I'm a believer of women supporting women. I'm a believer of uh, we rise by, rift, uh, by lifting others. So why is Shinwe and Ruti ganging up and defaming, slut shaming and body shaming Nelly? I like what Nelly is doing. Nelly told Big Brother during her diet section yesterday that she doesn't care what they're doing. That for them to be talking behind her back, she doesn't care. But whomever feels like they have issues with her, whomever feels like what she's doing is not good to that person, let that person come in front of her and talk it out. That all that back, back, uh, back talk, bad side stories that she's been hearing, it doesn't concern her because at the end of the day, she's in this house and she's going to keep on frustrating them. And immediately she said that, I'm like, yes, give it to them. Give it to them because they are trying to make this girl an antagonist of this whole game. Whereas they are playing the protagonist. But it is not the case. It is not the case. You guys have been ganging up on her, thrashing her as a human being, calling her all sort of name, using all sort of delegatory word to say this is who Nelly is. Whereas this girl has done nothing, long, nothing wrong other than living in that house. Guys being close to her because that's the whole issue guys don't want kelly to rest guys are always pursuing nelly guys are always with nelly that's the whole case that's why this housemate have been ganged up and for the likes of Ruti, planning to fight nelly i'm just watching and i can't wait to see how that plan will go how far it will go if truly they will fight nelly and if they do I want to see how Big Brother will treat that case because it's been out in the open. And I can't wait for Sunday when Ebuka will have the position or when Ebuka will be in a position to ask this housemaid question. I want to see the type of question Ebuka will ask to this housemaid, especially Ruti and Shinwe and also Zion. Guys, I have to point out Zion. Zion, yes, this is your dear friend, this is your boo, but putting yourself in a situation where you are buying your girlfriend's case you know that what she's doing is bad but because she's your girlfriend you are buying her case wholeheartedly you are buying it with your head it will backfire on you it will backfire on you there is life after big brother yes inside that house you are in a confined space you have the you, you can say whatever you want to say but don't forget that it is us the viewers that will determine if you will stay in that house or not. No matter what uh, personality you guys are portraying, we the viewers are seeing it. We the viewers know who is keeping it 100% and who is faking it. So, Nelly might be faking it. We don't know. But what she's portraying to us viewers or what you guys are trying to make her be is not what we the viewers are seeing. And now you guys trying to be the arbitrator of truth the, the, the what was this word the the people that says this is what it will be and it will be you guys are not looking bad in the eyes of the public so whatever it is going on in that house all they have to do is call nearly out have a conversation about it but if they still go around and antagonize nearly they will have a reality shake when on Sunday, one of them is voted out and Nelly still remains in that house. 
or they will go home and, and keep watching Nelly in front of their TV because what they are doing right now it is propelling Nelly's game to make it to the top five because to, to us the viewers we don't see anything wrong with what Nelly is doing but to them it is wrong so them antagonizing Nelly's uh, character them defaming Nelly them talking all sort of bad things calling her pussy praying one hey, you guys that is the worst of it all that is the worst of it all that conversation between Zion and her boo Shinwe it was so bad that I couldn't I, I couldn't get myself to watch the, to watch the whole conversation imagine saying that someone who goes as a chef is not a real chef that all she does is uh, tell the client that she's an in-house chef that when she comes in the house that they'll first have sex with her before she starts cooking guys what sort of rubbish is that what sort of rubbish is that has nelly ever come out and say okay this is the type of work i do or this is so why are you using your own imagination to categorize her as a pussy pregnant whereas she's already made it known since day one that she's a chef i am so sorry and it is a disgraceful thing to watch an adult an adult who is a who is who go like a matured man made that kind of uh, made that type of statement it is hurting to see that this is how they want to play this game it is hurting that they want to defend this girl's character just to advance their game but i can't wait to see the shock on their face come sunday when ebuka announced that nail is safe or when ebuka asks them that mighty question that we can't wait to see guys what are your thoughts about everything that has been going on? All the gang ups that this housemaid are having against Nelly and uh, all uh, the Shine and Indinepe. What are your thoughts about everything that has been going on this week inside the Big Brother house? Let me hear it down below in the comment section. And remember, like this video, subscribe, and then turn on your post notification so you'll be notified whenever I drop a new video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have an amazing day.